All right, so we're gonna start up here. We got the 223. Wow. I think that's stainless steel barrel drop in trigger. Right side charging handle. And that's 10 and a half right there. Then right up under that, we got the SBR chambered in 556 with the same drop in trigger. That's a rear charging handle on that one. So the next one over here is 6.5 Grindle, right side charging handle, 10 and a half, and um, that will be Gen 1, because they got the bigger knob like this one with the uh, charging handle. I really don't care for that one, but you'll have to get a new bolt to get to going to get this one. This is Gen 2, and you see it got the flat top. This don't, this one bolt up different, and that one is different. But this one got the, I like the charge handle like that. Only thing is, with that charger handle, if you don't lock tight that, or you know, make sure it's tight, and the bolt can break into the gun. This one will just twist off, and you don't wanna lose it in the range or whatever but you do have to take both of those off when you want to clean the gun. So, and this back part right here. So that's the newest one we got right here in 300 Blackout. Here's another 5.56, 10 and a half. I think that's Gen 1. So, and then this is the Gen 2 charging handle but it don't have a flat top. And this is in 5.56 five, also. And then this one is in 5.56 five, also. And that one is Cerakoted from them. And that's the Gen 1 with the knob on there. This is all the ten and a halves in AR style. So only two that's different. Mainly different is the 6.5 Grindle and the 300 Blackout. We were just missing the 300 Blackout for a while. I'm gonna just show you the calibers. So right here, this is the Grindle right here. And that's um 223 then you got 300 blackout and then you got the 556 five, yeah so grindle 223 300 blackout 556 five, and what i noticed with this one this is the new rail where you can um, direct mount your suppressor. These other ones, you gotta have a brake on there. You can buy the new rail, but I think it's probably like another, probably will cost you about another hundred or something. But all these other ones, they don't have it. It's adjustable gas block I put on here on the, on the uh, this one, the SBR, the 223 wild, got an adjustable gas block. And the white one got a fast trigger in it. So, only thing, we got an optic coming for that. I said that in the other video. And I really like those grips. I think I got some more of those. I like those grips. Pretty much got them all on all of these. And then, I like these barricades. I like them better than these uh, hand stops. I mean, I prefer SBR, but that's a lot of stamps. Like, that'd be perfect if I could just SBR them all, but, because I really don't care for the blades, but that's my go-to blade. It's the cheapest, um, it's lighter, but it's not adjustable. You have to two screws to them to adjust them. 
Um, it don't really dig in me. These guns ain't got no crazy recoil or nothing like that. A bunch of them left over. So I just used them up. So they're pretty much, I would prefer the SB Tactical ones because you can adjust them, but I don't want to spend that hundred. I got so many of these pistol blades that'd be that'd be a lot. Be somewhere about a thousand dollars on just blades. I mean, not blades, uh, braces. And I, ain't, I don't want to invest in that. If I'm gonna do that, I might as well spend a thousand on the stats and go SBR. But the big difference is with the SBR and the pistol. You know, the SBRs you need the permission to travel with. Some states don't allow SBRs, so it's a little too much, you know, extra stuff with the SBRs. I prefer the pistols, you know, for like transporting out of town, truck guns, all of that stuff. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show the new, might be the last, I don't know anything else I really want. I don't have a 7.62 and a 10 and a half. I think the Draco is 12.8.
motivation to see your movement is in effect. And I fucking love that shit. <laughs>